Welcome back everyone to our campaign for not Ark in the Black, but Setra the Imperishable. Let's go look at what we can do with him right now. King Hatmas, he's going to be moving down. I think we're going to pick up a new king in just a moment. That's going to give me more Ushabti. And I like that idea a lot. But I do need 3,000 gold in order to build a building and a tier 3 settlement in order to even begin building it. In order to get Ushabti. That will have to wait. Let's come over here now. Right by Al Haik, which we just conquered. It was a brutal battle, but we did win. Setra is currently patching up his warriors, and in time he's going to move out and go to Fyrus. When we go to Fyrus, we'll have another great victory. Okay, King, pop on up here. There we go. What can I do back at home in the land of the dead? We are at tier 3, but again, I need that extra gold. I could stop building up Xandri, but I need defenses over there if I want it to be, well, defended. Alright, that would give me 15 more income. And to be fair, I'm making a lot of money right now. That's 1,200 per turn. Not bad. We're going to end our turn. Here we go. Setra was a powerful king who had fought alongside his father's legions for many years before becoming king. He was a ruthless warlord, and his tactical and strategic knowledge was only matched by his courage and martial skill in battle. One by one, he brought the other cities to hill, leading his legions from the front line. He was very bloodthirsty, too. First, Numas fell. Then Xandri, and with every victory, more warriors came to his banner. Before long, he commanded the largest and most loyal army in the kingdom. And that's a long history to go back on, too. And he was at the peak of them all. Vast legions of battle-hardened soldiers marched across the land at his command. Under his leadership, all of the other kings were conquered. This is how he ended the civil war at a time of strife. Now we're back to our turn. There we go, we now have La Mizash of the 4th Dynasty. I want him to now lead our army. Let's bring him over here. Here we go. Now later we can have more lovely Ushabti. I'm going to give you Route Marcher, Passage to the Soul Realm. And over here, Sun Scorched Bones, because you have very weak units and they need to be improved. Very good. You're still not healed up. That's okay, I forgive you for that. I could have you move back home for a turn or two. That would actually be okay. I have the gold that I need. It didn't take long at all. Now we can get Ushabti in three turns. Here's a statuary of Kimri. Or Himri. Let's go read that real quick. The City of Kings is an eternal monument to the sovereigns of the desert. Plus one to Ushabti, but thanks to our king, we're able to get two more. Where am I going to have you move to? I could have you try to come down here and take out one of the human towns. You know what? Come on. Let's find out if you can take out Bel Aliad on your own. If not, we'll try to figure it out. But Baron Fagan's having a very hard time surviving, so I do believe we'll be able to do that. These two locations will be under my command. I do want to use a right to rebuild El Calabad, the Black Tower of Archon, or Arkin. We'll pick that up later. No more trade over here. What happened? Did you lose? Or did you cancel it? I don't believe you canceled it. I guess you did. Huh. I thought we were getting along, me and you. So, Here's Talia up here. They do not want to engage in trade. When I fight their enemies, they would like to. If I find a faraway foe and declare war on them, that would actually work out for me. Ah, they are in fact losing, it looks like. They're fighting a lot of orc factions. I was really hoping they would win and do well. That way we could be friends and, well, I wouldn't have to worry about the North. For more research, what do we truly need at the moment? Let me look at it. We could use a new army. In six more turns, we'll have army number three. That's really good. And when I get a new book of Nagash, who knows what we'll get. It's in a turn again. Few rivals would emerge to challenge Setra and would die at his own hands or by his herald Nakaf, his champion. His agents would root out and kill off any trace of, de of overall dissent or snuff out any signs of rebellion. Setra ruled for many decades and suffered no challenge to his rule. Though he was ruthless, the kingdoms entered a golden age of prosperity. The cities were restored and many grand monuments were erected in the honor of the gods and Setra. We'll talk more about his rule later. Now you know how he came to power and how he came to be. Is a great priest king of all of Nekara. Back to my turn again. 
I could let her second army go after the humans and have Setra go after Ark and the Black. It's really up to me, I suppose, but yeah, let's go over here and take care of it now. Get right over here. That's a very tiny garrison. We're not going to find that out. It's really not needed. Let's occupy it. Cultus of Usirian. Bearing witness to men's downfall, he judges their worthiness to serve his master deity from beyond the grave. Very good. At level 5, I'm going to give you Sun Scorched Bones. You now have more armor. And over here for the Prince at level 3, Canopic Jar Hoarder. We now get 2 per turn from him. That's what I wanted. I could get even more Skeleton Archers right now if I wanted to. That's probably a good idea, but I'm too busy conquering. We're not going to do that at the moment. We'll get a different building down there. I truly am making a lot of money. A lot of gold. Okay. A pyramid? Really? That's really cool. A unique building already over in Zandri, but I'm not going to get that just yet. I do need to get my Great Pyramid of Cetra, but that will take a very long time to pick up. I'm not going to rush to try to get it. Not yet. Alright, I do need some more money if I want to build anything worthwhile around here. I do want pottery, but that will have to wait for later. If I don't have my wall, we're not going to be able to properly defend Xandri, so that will have to wait. Two more turns for my Ushapti. How's my public order? We're still losing public order back at home. Well, I better take care of that. Look at all these buildings that we have. We have a lot of options on how to change up our lands. I certainly do enjoy that. Okay, let's build one obelisk over here now. They tower over the horizon, casting judgment upon any caught in their shadow. Plus four to public order, plus one to untainted. We do have vampiric corruption here, unfortunately. What about the mortuary cult? What do I want to build if there's anything that I want to build? Hold the line. Charge resistance goes up by 100%. That's actually really good. I could give that to any leader and it would be a nice curatic jar. That's able to replenish them. Really? We already have pottery too, so that's good to know. Let's keep on looking. I feel like that would be the best one to allow them to replenish in battle. But again, let's save up what we have. I do not have a lot of jars. Not right now. That will change later. The king's going to come over here to Martek, and we'll take that over. We'll have to fight out another battle and conquer more humans. The Baron Thagen, well, he's a petty warlord who came to a land of kings. He will not stand for long. They could try to take Al Haik, but we do have walls there. Yeah, Zandri we want to protect. We want to protect our core lands, and there goes... Oh, hello, Ark in the Black. Where did you go? I just saw you. Was he, like, able to move, attack, move back, and go, like, into an ambush stance? If he tries to ambush me, it won't work in his favor, so that's really up to him. In fact, I would love for him to do that. Let him engage in ambushing me. It wouldn't go well. Oh, boy. We're pushing hard on these kings to the west, but we're going to take them all. We're going to do what Cetra did many years ago. Al Haik entropy increases. In cities as old as the deserts, it is the natural order that even the finest buildings eventually crumble and fall. One of our largest temples has started to collapse, and we fear that it will soon topple, bringing down calamity. Should we reinforce it? If I do that, buildings are cheaper. If I don't do that, things will be. You know what? Just do it. To lose one of our most prestigious, most sacred temples is a risk too great to bear. We cannot risk its collapse. Use everything to reinforce it and prevent that from occurring. We'll do that. I'll gain more. There we go. I had a feeling. Time for me to go into battle. I'm not going to give it up so easily. King Ratik, you came here and you have a necrotect, right? Yeah. You've had a lot of horsemen. That won't benefit you fighting me. You have crypt ghouls. Those are... Very deadly, sure. Finally, we're fighting an agent of Ark into Black. That's right, you're all agents, not even kings. You're petty lords. If you wanted to be a king, you should follow me. That's a better idea. Okay, we're going to keep our spearmen on each flank. 
And the great part is I have Mighty Spearman who can just reinforce my lines. I have Tomb Guard and Spearman. Archers, you'll be over here. My own horsemen, you'll wait from behind. My warriors, you too shall wait, but eventually you will charge in. Yeah, move back a little bit. We'll put you on the right flank. Cetra and our prince will lead from the front lines, and we are now ready for a battle to fight a petty king. Let's go look at it now. My casket of souls will begin to attack using evil incantations to, well, shoot forth evil. Evil beams, I don't even know what you would call that. Ectoplasm. And there it goes now. There's only one, but it shoots out many. There's a few crypt ghouls now destroyed. Their bodies broken apart upon the sands of Nehikara. And still they charge forward. Look at these, they look rather frantic and wild. They're not disciplined warriors like we have. Here they come again. They'll keep being hit until every one of them are put into the sand once again. If you would like to attack me, feel free to, but I'm going to get you now. Here they come. I'm going after them too. They managed to charge right in. Who's going to stop me now? Let's go charge in. Come on, Prince. Let's go. I want my warriors to move in and fight. They have more armor. They can handle this situation. I'll move my other swordsmen later. My... Archers are now attacking too. They have archers. I'm going to go after them. Let's go charge in now. I've got talented spearmen who are able to move in. Let's have them go in. Oh, hold on. We have more over here. I was only kidding. Come over here. Let's go look at the battle now in slow motion just for a brief moment. Let's use our Wrath of Petra to blow them all back. Goodbye, skeleton warriors. And you can see how many are now gone. <laughs> well, only one, but we did a lot of damage to their buffer of health. But now my warriors are moving in. They're going to cut down everything they have. No, and potentially, well, they can't love. I doubt they can love. I'm sure there's a possibility somewhere in there, but it's not very likely, I must say. Let's come over here now onto the left flank. I've got more horsemen charging at their horsemen who are on my right flank. But we have great spearmen who are currently fighting, though they do have crypt ghouls who are attacking me. You can see them hit at every point of my line. What a great battle. They have more spearmen moving in, more archers who could well, shoot at me. Skeleton horsemen archers. I've got my own casket of souls currently blasting through their ranks. Just like in the days of old, we're fighting. I want my war sphinx to move in though. Let's go after crypt ghouls. These can, well, wait here for quite some time. They're already losing much more than I am. Which is very obvious to see. I can reduce damage, and so I shall, for a few units here taking a lot of damage. Let's try that out right now. I'm going to use a great incantation. Where am I going to use it? I guess I could use it like over here if I wanted to. Kill some crypt ghouls. It's really up to me. But there they go. Anyway, let's go back into normal speeds. We don't need to wait it out. Don't you kill my prince. That would be very rude of you. I'm not getting any Ushabti yet. I could let my archers change up their shots and hit at a different area. Like their horsemen. Or their horsemen archers. You know what? Let's change it up a little bit. I feel like you should. Come over here and attack. Oh, they brought in Ushapti to hit me from back here. Really? Well, that's pretty dirty of you. Let's go back. Come on, War Sphinx. Go back if you can. They've lost so many so quickly. The battle is in my favor then. That's how we know it's in my favor. I'm nearly at tier 2. They're going to change it up by killing a lot of my archers. Thank you, Ushapti. You've given me a challenge today. I'm killing more and more of the Crypt Ghouls. We were unable to hold up. My prince needs to take a little bit more damage. I'd like to go fight that other king. Let's get him. King Ratik will now die today. Here, I'm going to help out my warriors. I never like them taking too much damage. Take that. Why don't you deal more damage? You're over here. We're at tier 2, nearly at tier 3, which is where we can finally buff things up too. Let me go look at it. Do we have anyone left to fight? Very few are left to fight. I want these archers to all form up on the right flank now. We're going to kill off these Ushabti. Go after their horsemen archers. The rest of them are beginning to break. They're falling apart. The Crypt Ghouls are remaining behind and they're still fighting at the moment. Let's go after their leadership. Do you spell casting to break up more Crypt Ghouls? Well, they're done for. Never mind. 
There's only 14 left. That was cool. I didn't actually see that in action. And now that I have, you can even hear that incantation of vengeance play out. Let's go after the king. Come. You are the mightiest of kings. You're correct about that. All right, War Sphinx, let's bring you over here. That Ushabti unit is now gone. I want all of my archers to go after their horsemen archers. Let's kill them now. My own Ushabti are now here. Let's go after them. Hello? They do not rest, indeed. They do not. Let's come over here now. They're all disintegrating. They're falling apart. Their enemy lord is now wounded, and the battle is won. The priest king, Cetra, won again, just like in ages past. I love that we're talking about Old Lord. We're kind of repeating that cycle of history once again. You can see how mighty my warriors are. I'm getting more and more elites. What's great about the Tomb Kings as a whole is that when you get an elite, it truly feels like one. I do want more jars, but that is a lot of replenishment that I'm going to take for right now because I'm trying to conquer. That entire army destroyed now. Here's our Iron Curse Icon, this enchanted item made from the cannonball that killed infamous necromancer Gabriel Dumort. Grants the wilder advantage when facing the missile attacks of war machines. So here's what we're going to do then. I could go back home to patch up. What if I used a forced march? It wouldn't be enough. Let's come over here. Easy enough. They had a very tiny army. I'm going to occupy it. Thanks to that previous king, he weakened the Baron. So now we have Martek as well. I can get more archers. We're not going to do that again. I have more money over here. So what are we going to pick up? We're going to pick up one obelisk to try to encourage public order here. There are vampires nearby. They will be destroyed soon. We have one more turn until we're able to get some Ushabti. I might use a new lord to pick them up. I can't get a new hero. Not yet. I do want a priest. But I want a priest of my own choice. That would be more money for me. 50 more. Let's go over here. I want my desert lookout. The lookouts are dark blotches on a horizon of sand. Vigilant hawks against the horrors of the desert. Because later I want my walls, but for now I need my defenses. And now we're going to build a Mastaba over here in Al Haik, where they're very unhappy. Setra has now leveled up. He's level 12. We can look at more things to build up over here. Let's look at that. I could get more Tomb Princes. I already have Petra, the Great Father, symbolizing immortality and eternity. The ruler of the Nekaran Pantheon has always had a care for the well-being of his children. That would make them a much higher level. Over here, I can get more Tomb Guard when I'm able to recruit them. So for now, that's plus two to public order for all provinces. I do want that at one level. That's very powerful too. But for now, founder of Himri. The jewel in Nehekar's crown was founded by Setra, the mighty city of the Tomb King's absolute sovereign ruler. And there we go. Done. And over here at level nine. We're going to give you Conqueror. I want you to deal more damage. And now you can. I do not have new equipment for you yet. That will come in time. I can get a new Tomb Prince. We now have three of them. We're going to have three stories to talk about in the future. Look at that. He gets more melee attack and melee defense when riding a chariot. I actually do like that. I might pick it up. Yeah. I'm going to pick that up. My father demands it. Rank 5 already. So he's nearly there to where he could get a chariot. Well, not nearly, but he's getting closer. I want all of my jars. And then you'll put one point over here into Indomitable Will. And now you're stronger for it. But now we get more jars per turn. That's what I'm talking about. We get 5 per turn. I did lose 40 due to one event, but I can take care of that. We have a lot of locations that are currently unhappy. I'll need more armies. I'll probably use my third army to potentially keep the peace for a period of time. I want that Tower of Ark in the Black. Ark in the Black may move to the east and retake a few lands. That is very possible. We now have more things to add to our overall collective resources that we've been needing for quite some time. And because of that, we are better off.
That's Dragoose Empire. The Scourge of Cain. Now it's back to my turn once again. Those open graves are gone. Okay. What's over here? I'm not going to Alcalabad yet. I'm not building any new items. Not yet. Soon, but not yet. Let me go look around real quick. The land of the dead. They're finally okay. It looks like I can get carrion if I upgrade this. The dead all need a place of rest until they rise again, of course. That would be a lot more public order, and I would get one carrion. Over here in Martech, I'm trying to make things happy. I'll get my iron mine at tier two, so that's okay. Let's work on that now. You're not at your next level yet. Okay. I could either just combine and recruit new units. Who shopped here now here, and I want them. I could bring him back, but Bel Eliad, I need you to go fight. For the but where am I going to have you go fight? I do hate having vampires so close to me. We could go destroy them. I believe we're engaging. Ah, here we go. The Black Tower. I found it now. The Rakoff Dynasty. We're not fighting them yet. So I can ignore them if I want to. For now. Later, we're going to take his great tower. Here's El Karabad. So, the dwarves have the middle divided in the Adelin Mountains. I don't have to worry about them. We do have more to worry about over in the west. Which means, do they have walls? They do have walls. That's a pretty powerful army. We're going to have a new army in three turns. What we're going to do then, I'm going to bring him back to Zandri. And let him pick up Ushapti. Where he's going to be able to really bring it to our foes after that. Let's go look at trade. Do not greet me as a friend. Listen. Land of gum. Let it would be in your best interest to be my friend. Numas, I'm going to come after you later. We're not done conquering out here. I'm just letting right now the king heal up. I still have 20 out of 20. I could still recruit new units, and so I shall. The shop will take way too long to pick up, and I'm trying to get to a new battle. Okay, Martek. I could go into the mountains and conquer the dwarves, but I have other foes to fight. If I lose these locations, that's okay. I can always rebuild them later on. I'm not going to do it yet. I might actually... No, you know what? I'm going to wait to give that prince to another king. Each king will have one prince to fight with him. But I want to make sure that we have Ushabti. Our kingdom really expands and grows, so I could keep one army near those two lands. To really help out. Oh, you two were even fighting to begin with? Why would you do that? You're so far apart, dwarfs and gray beards, prospectors. There's more treasure out there. If I had one king going out to go get treasure for me, I would lose that one army, which is a huge blow to me, but I would gain a lot of gold. And that gold goes very far. If I got like one vampire skull of 10,000 gold, I would be able to build up so much. Abandoned Sphinx. Despite the best efforts of our chief necrotect, one of our tombs has started to sink back into the sand once more before giving up its illustrious arcane secrets. If we do not act quickly to shore up its entrance, we risk losing everything we have thus far gained. I would lose growth? Or, okay, well. Possibly our laborers have not worked hard enough. A swelling of their numbers and some encouragement with the lash should better align their priorities with our own. We'll do that. Not my favorite thing to do, but we'll do that. If I bring three armies to fight him, we might be able to win. I don't know if we can win right now, but we might be able to win later. Alright, let's go look over here now. You can get them in two turns. Great. So I want you to pick up all three. You'll get rid of all of them. You'll get rid of one more of these. And he's going to pick up three Ushabti. He's meant to be a king that's able to fight with him, so we're going to let him do that. Time to go down and conquer more land. Let's go. Wherever Ark in the Black is at, we're going to find him and destroy him. Everything over here will soon belong to me until we get to his palace. Once we conquer everything over here, we're going to move on Vulture Mountain and move back to the east. And we'll conquer everything over there. We're going to pick up the Black Tower of Arkin and later the Black Pyramid of Nagash. And finally, we'll end it by taking out Nicolandor, the Blade of Skolaril. Could have you try that.
How much money? That's too much money. I'm not spending all that money on that. Might be a king, but I'm not here to be foolish with my money. Okay, for now, let's build our skeletal garrison to heat bleach bone warriors of grim countenance to watch over the battlements, watching for foes through hollowed sockets. There we go. Atlanta of the Dead's over here. Can't do much over there. We can now do what then? Prince, you can wait. Let's end our turn. We have much more to do, but we have accomplished a lot already. In the very beginning, we fought a savage war against a bunch of savage orcs. We finally broke them. They're now gone. They spent all of their strength trying to fight me. If they were trying to fight other factions, they could have become a great power. They were clearly able to produce great numbers of warriors, but they couldn't beat me. It was good training. I do want that one island to fall under my command. That will take a bit of time. Now the Shagos Empire is fighting the Rakoff Dynasty. Those two can wage war and weaken each other. That's how I can come in and destroy everyone else. I have more armies to take care of. My third army will be weak for a time until I'm able to give them more powerful units. We have one more turn to go. I have money to spend. Bill Aliad, I could keep that if I upgrade it and build a little garrison. That would take only two turns. Thankfully, building up here does not take too long. We're still in a suitable climate. Over in Martek, we are not, so that would take much more time. Let's go over here to the small town and take it in our name. The name of Setra, and maybe the gods do. Now we have more jars again. Confident attacker, confidence the key to a successful battlefield action. Now we have more leadership and leadership or size whenever we attack. Blessed Legion of Fact, Skeleton Archers. Existing only to serve, the hot gods of Blessed Archers deliver his swift justice, a reign of death from above long after their own lives have ended. Very good, we now have a new archer group. Level 13, what shall I take up now? That would be, well, more Tomb Princes and they would be better. But for now, I want my Conqueror of the Past. No, I've got to wait. I'm getting a War Sphinx and one more level. I'm going to wait for that. That's much better. <laughs> okay. Prince now is over here. Heir of the Chariot King. Royal Lieutenant. Cultist Prince. I like all of these, actually. That would reduce enemy magic. It's a lot more health. Tomb Strike would be great to have. It's a really tough choice for me. That's a larger leadership aura effect. You can get a chariot later. I'm not going to let you pick it up yet. You're getting three jars for me. Tomb Strike. Okay. What I'm going to do then, I'm going to pick up Royal Lieutenant. No, no. Coldest Prince. Oh, these two are my favorite. That's very tough. Okay, the younger sons of a tomb king command detachments within his armies ensuring their father's unshakable iron will is enacted to the letter. We'll take that. He'll be his lieutenant. Very good. Now we only need Fires to complete our conquering of the province of the coast of Araby. And one more turn, he's going to have Ushabti. I'm going to give you that. Here's your archers, your one group of archers for now. They're very powerful. I serve King and well, that's great. I'm proud of you. Move over here now. What else can I build? What other legion do I want? The Flock of Joff, that's possible. A new dynasty would be great. What's over here? I don't have my iron yet, or I can get my Storm Riders pretty soon. The Venom Knights will be even more powerful. I can't wait to have that. That'll be exciting. It's in their turn. Again, saving jars. Those are bits of equipment that I want for later. Why would I need that now when I could use new units or even new armies earlier on? It's crazy though how quickly now we're beginning to conquer. Now to be fair, we are we were or are fighting humans, and humans are really not gonna be able to stand up to us. Not early on, not Bretonian errant trees. They tried though. You dare approach the imperishable. Hello, Sir John. They want a non-aggression pact. He's kind of stuck there, too. He should probably go home. If I was him, I'd be like, okay, guys, time to pack it up. Things are clearly not going our way. If you look over this little island, there's nothing but undead. I don't think we can really make a dent. I know, I know, for the lady and all that, but we cannot make a dent. Let's go home. And then they leave, and they give me land. 
That's how it should go. Here we go. A quest issued. I need golden idols, gemstones, and marble. The golden age is long past, but Cetra, in his infinite pride, will see it born anew. As a symbol of intent, he demands a statue be raised in his image, one worthy of the greatest ruler that has ever walked the earth. It must be an effigy of pure magnificence. Cetra issues his orders. Only the finest materials may be used in its construction. Kasabar marble, to lay in gold and black opals from the Sylvanias. Anything less will arouse his severest displeasure. Okay. We now have a new dynasty. The wisdom of the first dynasty. So now we have a new lord to pick up. It's going to be him. Come Hatmas. You'll go join him and train. And now it's time for you to build things up again. Later, you'll be able to get more units. For now, you cannot. Okay, I can bring you over here to build Aliad. They're clearly unhappy. The vampires, I could even have you destroy them. There's Ushuran. But I want you to go to Phyrus. That's where I want you to go. There's Coffer. I could upgrade that to a Mastaba. These locations to me are much more important. Let's come down to Lashiek. Hello, King Rahotep. I love your name. Oh, you have knights? I wish I could have those knights. Those knights should be mine. If we go look over here, we can get a Lich Priest. I've been wanting one. I have. For only 100 jars. We could use some magic. These would help out my warriors, which I'm already using. Yeah, I'm going to build more recruitment areas. What else do we have? I don't want another Tomb Prince. Not right now. We have plenty, I think. That's more campaign movement range for 5,000 gold. I can't wait to get enough gold to actually have that benefit me heavily. But for now, the priesthood of Petra. Petra is the sun god and first of the pantheon. We'll get one priest. It's in their turn now. I'll probably give that lich priest to army number two. Army number two is what I'm going to reinforce first. Then later, army number three. I could balance it out, but I want to make sure that army number two is quite powerful. Because Cetra is not there to help him out. Which means that... He's not going to be nearly as potent as he should be. That much is known. That much is clear. We're going to find a large battle at Lashiek. The idea is that Cetra is going to end up fighting Ark into Black once again. We're going to beat him and then we'll go after other targets. My armies will begin to spread all over the world. They want to pay me 500 gold for now. Because of that, I will take that 500 gold because I can use that 500 gold. I might use army number three for a time. Well, hmm. I need to guard a few locations, but I really do want to go after more treasure. Those savages, where are they? Are they nearby? They are. The top knots are back. I've already killed you. Get out of here. Here we go. That's a large battle. They even have, oh, stalkers. These sentinels mark the borders of the Tomb King's realms, emerge in the sand waiting to strike at the unsuspecting. They're very strong. Here, take that. We'll attack in just a moment. After we beat him, we'll have conquered one location in the land of assassins. Here's my gemstones that I want. Then I just need one more thing, I believe. Marble. Alright, let's build up our defenses over here. That's what we do now. We build up some defenses to make sure things are okay. Alright, to move over here, I need you to move closer. Come on. I'd rather you go get that treasure for me, but I want Phyrus. That's what I truly want. It looks like they can't even build up much more. That's interesting. Right. I forgot. I always forget about that. Here's what I'm going to do. Let's have you begin to build up up here. Always forget about that. I can kind of double things up. It's not a thing that I do in any other faction, so it'll take me time to fully remember to do that all the time. About my Lich Priest, I want my Nehekarin Magic Treacherous, huh? Tomb Scorpions would be better. I like that a lot. Master of Ceremony. Knowledgeable. Ooh, that's very good. If I... Like, stacked it up with a Tomb Prince that can also reduce Winds of Magic. That would really hinder enemy magic. That would have been a much better idea. 
Okay, the god of the scorpions protects a Venal, the perfidious and a downright murderous. So now we have him and his magic. Great. So now we have a Lich Priest. We're going to bring him out over here to help out. He's only level 1. That'll take time for him to truly level up and become powerful. I'm going to give you Canopic Jar Hoarder. Because again, I want my jars every turn no matter what we do. We have picked that up. I'm not going to get any new Heralds. Not now. Not yet. Pride and Service. Though long dead, Kingly Guardians can be reminded of their oaths of service made in ages past, invigorating them for battle. That's one idea. What else do I want right now? It's Tomb Scorpions. That's for my knights. That's for more Ushapti. That would really buff him up, wouldn't it? Necro Sphinx, what would you give me? Skeleton Chariots. Kimmerian War Sphinxes would be more powerful too. That would give me more magic. I would get more Lich Priest. Satep of the Fifth Dynasty, ruling in the wake of the war with Nagash, Satep restored the Necropolis and the priesthood to their former glory. That's pretty cool. Check that. He usurped the throne of Kimri, restoring the priesthood and the Necropolis. From then on, Ahikara began to flourish once more. We'll let him pick that up. And now it's time for a battle. Let's go in. Well, I truly hope it is impossible. The Battle of La Chiec, it's going to be a big one. We've had nothing but non some battles, which has been a great campaign, or the signs of one. I've enjoyed that. It feels good being able to conquer and not having to just wait back to pacify some people. Alright. Skeletons, you're going to be on the front lines. You're going to reinforce you three, you mighty three. Wait in the sands. Our shifting sands will wait here. Our archers will be over here. Our spears will be on the left and right flanks now. Much like that. That's how we do it. They want to attack me on the flanks. Let them do so. Skeleton Horseman, you'll wait back here. Come here War Sphinx, you'll be here too. There we go. There's my Casket of Souls again. My leadership will be on the front lines, as they always are. Horseman, you'll be back here. It's kind of waiting. And now we are ready. Gamble for more magic because Cetra is able to use magic. Let's... Oh, wow. That was not a lot. <laughs> that did not benefit me. They have a very long line, which looks rather intimidating. Let's go take check out their stalkers. Oh, those are beautiful. They're also terrifying. They're God. I hope you like snakes, because we got them. They should follow me and listen to my commands, but for now, let's go take care of them. I'm going to go after some archers, I suppose. We do have more horsemen who will come after me. You know what, I'm going to shorten my formation just a wee bit. Because I don't want them hitting my archers. My archers are very important to me. Let's move up just a wee bit again. You three move back just slightly. If you need to fight later, I'll let you. Let's go after these units real quick. I want them dead. Come on, War Sphinx, let's go. The casket will take out many of the undead who are charging towards me. Very good. Keep on going. Try to hit him. I believe in you. <laughs> no, it's not that I believe in you. You just have to do it. So just do it. Alright, very good. So now we're attacking. We're going after... Oh, they're shooting at me. Re oh my god, they're shooting poison at me. Take out the horsemen. Do what you can for that. Reduce your own damage. Prince, let's go. You can help out. We're not charging in yet. Just give it a moment. Got to make sure they're not going to be able to surround me. I think they still might be able to surround me. Let's go out and fight. Right over here. We have more warriors attacking now. Let them go charge in. They'll go in and fight now. Spears will wait back here. Keeping my archers very much alive. That is hugely important to us thriving today. We've already killed many of their own. My Kimrian War Sphinx has taken a lot of damage. Now that I did not expect. Let's come over here. My tomb guard should be able to help out with that. They're knocking down my poor prince. Let's come over here too. You know what? Attack over here instead. There we go. Perfect. That was perfect. I mean, you did kind of hit your king, but we'll ignore that one and say it was perfect. 
All right, reduce your damage. Come here, War Sphinx. I don't want you dying on me. I'm gonna use one incantation on them. I'm angered by them, so let's go use that now. There we go. Beautiful. I need a Necrotech to tend to my... Anyway. Let's move back a little bit, Archers. Come on. I've got Spears back here who are waiting from behind. I've got many enemies now trying to trounce me at various intervals. And let's go look at it now. Yeah, you'll keep on attacking his horsemen. Go kill them. My own horsemen will just wait over here. We have more on the way. Let's try to take care of them. Come on. Just come over here. What about the left flank? There's a few of them, sure. How many have you killed? 66. What more can you kill? I'm sure there's large groups around here. Oh, there are over here. Let's go after them. They have Nekar warriors. I've got my spearmen attacking, but they're largely alone. I do not like that. They have spawned in Ushapti. Let's go fight them for now. While they try to take out my casket of souls. I have my warriors attacking everywhere. If I can just get them to attack more enemies, that would be even better. But yeah, they're going to go after my foes who are still trying to hit me. Go in. Archers, go attack their archers. I want them gone. Let's take them out, and then we can have you focus on other things that might be more important. The War Sphinx is now winning. The Stalkers are falling apart, it looks like. They're having an awful time fighting. Oh, he's on horseback. He looks very dashing. Good for you, buddy. Good for you. You're looking good for your age. Yeah, my horsemen over here are going to have a pretty tough time. Let's go now. Let's go help out. Did we get their archers? We're still getting them, yes. Okay, Skeleton Warriors come over here and fight. My own Ushapti are very much needed. They just have a lot of units that's making it quite difficult for me to fight. And I had to take out their own elite constructs. The Prince is still fighting. My Warriors are still fighting and they're winning. They're doing a great job. We're having a tough time at a few points, but we're still holding and doing what damage we can. I need my Casket of Souls to move away though. Go hit the Ushabti. I've taken out their archers by focusing fire on them. You can see how my volleys have completely destroyed them. Come over here and fight, I suppose. The Ushabti are not falling apart. You're not going to take out my freaking casket, I can tell you that much. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to focus on this one group. I'm going to have all my archers now go after these horsemen. That's what we're going to do. And then my tomb guard will keep on fighting. Petra. I wish you were here, but you're not. All right, Prince, you can come on. Go after a few more horsemen. Thank you, Kimrian War Sphinx. You did a great service for me. I'm glad we didn't have to fight them outright. My horsemen are going to fall apart. That's to be expected. I'm now using my own archers to go after more of their horsemen. We're breaking apart all of their elites, all of their good things in life. Let's form up over here now. We need to focus on this gigantic blob of units. And I need... Oh, if you're going after the king, just go after the king now. Just go do it. You bunch of weaklings. Let's come over here now and kill more warriors, and then we can finally re reinforce my right flank, which has been having a pretty tough time. Let's come over here now. Come on, all of you. The casket will get a lot of kills over here. Come on. Hurry up. I love how they're just blown back. They're like, ah! Yeah, come over here and attack. Go after skeleton warriors or whatever you want, really. Just go after them. I'll let you go chase after them, too. Come over here. Other warriors. Man, my Legion of the Underworld. How many kills do you have now? Nearly 300. And now they're all falling apart. The battle is won. The battle is now over. We have destroyed them. There's not a one left, but what? Their king? Now the king falls too. Did we take his arm? Oh, only his Kopesh. I'm going to hit him with a thousand chariots now. That will be his punishment. He wakes up every day. Boom! Chariot to the head. Now he has fallen. All things considered, we didn't actually lose a great deal. I had to counter some mighty stuff, and we took some big damage, sure, but it wasn't too bad. I'm not going to sack it. I'm not going to raise it. I'm going to occupy it. It now belongs to me. A skeletal laborer. Construction cost goes down by 25%. In a local province where once he dug graves, now he dwells eternally. I'm gonna give that to another person, not him. No hand weapon yet, not needed. Level 14. Now he can say Kimrian War Sphinx. 
almost impervious to harm. They wade through foes, crushing them like bothersome insects. Great. Oh, man. He's got a war sphinx now. I can't wait to show you that in battle. So now we have two of them. And he has a lot more health and a lot more power. So when we're back, we're going to be able to conquer over here. Virus. We're going to keep on moving down until we get Ark into Black. I want to thank all of you for watching. Do leave a like and comment down below. And look forward to another part tomorrow with potentially new custom stories for our princes and even our Lich Priest too. And until then.